Hello my friends, welcome back to another, uh, another week of painting. This week I'm going to paint something nice and colourful again. It's a bit of a sunset with lots of bright red poppy flowers along the front. Okay, coming up the sides. So, very warm colours, big splash of red on your canvas. Something which will really catch your eye on the wall. So I thought that might be nice this week, something warm, sunsetty, colourful. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. If you want to paint along, grab your stuff and um, we'll have a bit of fun. We'll take our time. Nice and loose and lots of colour. Okay, we'll use a palette knife as well for a lot of this. So this is going to be a fun painting to try. Again, thank you so much for all your support. Um, if you would like to see lots of more tutorials, check out my Patreon page. It's uh, you see it on the link on the description and at the end of the video. Um, you should pop over there and take a look. There's lots of extra fantastic videos over there for you to try. And you'll be supporting me in the process, so I appreciate that. Thank you so much. In the meantime, let's get on and do a nice painting. 16 by 12 canvas. These are my colours, nice rich colours. Um, let's go and try this and see what we can do. Don't go anywhere. Okay, here we go. There's a reference photograph. Isn't that just gorgeous? Lots of red, big splashes of red in the photograph. Isn't that beautiful? I think this would make a really nice tutorial. So, I have a 16 by 12 canvas primed once and sanded very lightly. Actually, I think I forgot to sand this after it was dry so i will give it a very light sand with some very fine fine sandpaper okay that's fine just to take the roughness off of the surface it's absolutely fine so my colors i have titanium white cadmium yellow pale cadmium red alizarin crimson phthalo blue Naples yellow, lamp black. There we go. That's all we need. Brushes. I'm going to do the majority of this background work with my big flat brush, okay? A large stubby will do exactly the same thing. Um, I don't have any to hand, actually. I have one, but it's pretty kind of worn out and kind of hard. So any large soft brush will do just fine, all right? I'm going to dampen that. And let's start with... The very bright colours. Let's get some cadmium yellow. So, right into painting. Let's go. No talking, no gibberish. Let's just paint. Cadmium yellow, white. And I'm going to put that right around in the centre here. Okay? See how lovely that's kind of smooth, going nice and smooth across my canvas? Because priming the canvas does seal it a bit. And sanding it afterwards helps also putting some linseed oil with your thinners really makes a difference okay just a little okay i'm going to go into some cadmium red naples or cadmium yellow cadmium red let's just start warming this slightly okay all right across here i have very little thinners in this okay it's just a small amount of thinners little bit of red little bit of yellow i might take actually a tiny touch of thinners now just with the corner of my brush and a little white too much too much white so more yellow a little bit more red nice soft soft color lovely warm color okay now i went up a bit high there but that's fine because i want to get this blue in as well this very soft blue um so let me see now i'm going to darken it with more red as it comes over yeah that's fine i want to darken it slightly just as it comes across to the outside edges i want this to kind of soften out into a darker color cadmium red again maybe a bit more and a bit more yellow so we'll go nice and rich very dark rich kind of an orangey color over at the sides you can of course just keep this simple now all right you can just keep it very simple if you so wish i just think these very warm colors on the outside will really draw you in okay so with that done 
Um, I might as well leave this brush because I have yellow on this. There's no point in putting the, uh, blue on this brush because it's just going to be destroyed. So I'll take another brush. Let me get another slightly smaller one here. I have a size 7 flat. Any flat will do. Soft synthetic brushes, that's what I use, okay? I'm going to take a nice pink. So alizarin crimson, some titanium white. Plenty of it. And it's a very whitey pink, okay? I'm then going to go up here and soften this across. And what happens is, it's softening into the yellow. So it's making a nice soft, soft salmon kind of a colour as it mixes. And that's really just to take the luminosity out of the yellow. Because we're putting blue up here. So I don't want blue with yellow because it's going to make it green, obviously. So... I'm putting this very soft pale colour between the yellow and the blue, okay? Very soft pink, nice soft pinky colour. And then soften it down into the yellow just to make it nice and gradual. Now, does that make sense? I'm going to soften everything in as I'm here, might as well. Then I'll clean my brush just to get the yellow off. Good, good, good clean. And let's go back in. Let's try some white with cadmium red. And I want to just neutralize this bit of yellow up here. Because it's going to mix with the blue. As soon as I put blue on this, it's going to mix and give me a greeny hue. And I don't want that. So, a nice bit of pink in between makes all the difference. Now, a little bit of white up here. Then we can go into more of a pinky mauve. I won't go just pure blue yet, okay? I go to more pinky mauve. So I go with cadmium red, some of that white that we already had, and a hint of phthalo. Now bear in mind, I'm keeping this on the red side, okay? So I have more red in this, a lot more red. And I don't know if you can hear in the background there, it's starting to really rain heavily on top of my studio here it's only a timber studio so you may hear some noise in the background and i apologize but um it's kind of showers on and off all day very hard to tell when it's going to happen so um it's just one of those days here in ireland another regular day okay nice mauve we'll put that in So now that's softening down into that kind of softer colour quite easily, isn't it? So it's a warm kind of a mauve, you see? And that will allow me then to put my blue on without getting mud. So I'm going to soften this right down here now into this colour. Look, look at that, lovely. So now we have a nice kind of a graduation, don't we, between the yellows up into the lighter colours above. Now you may see a very strong line on camera going across. It's much stronger on camera than it is because I don't know why, but for some reason the cameras pick up yellows much, much richer for some strange reason. I don't know why that is, but it just seems to pick up yellows much, much stronger. Now I want to put some bright in the center. I'm taking some white with Naples yellow and a little cadmium yellow. And I just want to soften this yellow here just a little bit it's a little bit too rich for me and some pop some of the naples yellow with white in there just to take the edge off of the yellow in there okay and soften it outwards and look this doesn't have to be perfect because we will have lots of red flowers in front of all of this so honestly, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You just do what you feel is nice for you. Okay, I'll clean that brush and I'll give it a really good clean. Get all that lovely yellow off. And we'll go to some nice blue above. Let's take some phthalo blue and some crimson. And a little white. I do want this nice and kind of soft, not too in your face. I know it's very blue. On the photograph it's very very rich i'd rather keep it soft just a little so a little bit of phthalo blue with crimson i'm going to drag that across there then 
let that just soften down into that whitey pink that we put there earlier. Now as it comes down, I want to start warming it a little bit more. So I'm picking up a hint of pink. That will just make the transition much easier from blue to light pink to yellow. Okay. I don't want to have solid lines in between all of this. I want it nice and gradual. I won't go down into that yellow just yet. I'm going to clean my brush on some tissue. I'll take some white. With a touch of that pink look. I, I have mostly white now on my brush with a hint of crimson. You can, if you like, just put this yellow all the way up, okay? It's completely up to yourself. That would be nice as well against the orange and the reds of the flowers. Now, we soften all this across. Okay, so, now you can see, we have this beautiful yellow and a little bit of blue on top. Let's move down into our greens. I'm gonna use the same brush. You can use a bigger brush if you like. I wanna fill in all this now with a nice rich dark green. And what's the best color for a dark green, would you say? Well, I like to use cadmium yellow and black. I think it's simple, it's warm, and it's dark, okay? Black and cadmium yellow, lots of it, okay? Plenty of cadmium yellow, a little thinners, and if you want to warm that then, you could just take a touch of cadmium red, okay? That gives you this beautiful dark, kind of an olive, almost like a sap green, okay? Look at that, there, perfect. Now, touch of thinners. Make this darker or make it brighter if you like. I just went right into some cadmium yellow there, look, and I'm mixing it in. And I want to go up on the sides with this. Okay, I'm going to go right up on the sides. And remember, this is just a kind of a background shade. It's just simply to fill in the background, to take the white off the canvas. I will be putting lights and darks on top of this very very soon so let's just have a bit of fun with this now let's take some cadmium yellow and cadmium red pop a little bit of that in there and i'm using lots of thick paint but it's not impasto okay it's not very thick paint i do have a tiny touch of thinners still in my brush so i'm just dragging it around on the canvas allowing it to mix now let's go up the sides and what we can do then is take maybe a hint of cadmium red with yellow and as it kind of comes up to the sides I'm going to sort of flick it up and almost allow it to disappear into the background okay I just want to create this very soft effect of it going off into the distance like so just like that you see, very, very loosely with the brush, just leave it, flick left and right, up and down, and uh, in all kinds of directions, okay? So already now we have this lovely kind of muddled, kind of fuzzy background, don't we? And this is a, a, a very simple technique as well, simply taking a little colour, look, and flicking our brush up and down. It's a great way of creating a little texture in your on your canvas, in your landscape even. If you're doing grasses or whatever, this is a great way of doing it. Rather than having just a simple flat colour on your canvas, even something like this will suggest to the viewer and yourself that there's lots of little grasses and there's just a little bit of texture going on in the background. Okay, so you can see now how easy that was and it's just a simple colour with the brush going along, nice and nice and soft, nice and quick. Okay, I think at this stage now I'm going to um, start putting in possibly some darks. Let me think. What I'm going to do is take a soft, soft brush. My apologies, I hit the camera. Let me fix that. I'm going to take a very soft brush. I have a little makeup brush here which I stole from my wife basically. I just stole it, okay? I won't say anything if you don't. I'm sure you can keep a secret. 
I'm just uh, I, I I can't find my other big big puffy one. What's over there? I think this is starting to go a bit hard, but it's fine. I have another one here as well. Little I don't know what kind of a brush it's for. Powder or something. Anyway, let me take any soft brush, soften that in. I want to get a nice soft effect with the distant greens there, okay? You can go around in circles if you like. Completely up to yourself. Now, you can put a little sun in there if you wish. I don't think it needs it. I think it's I think it's bright enough as it is. So there we go. Done. Now, let's take a I'll go for a detailed brush, okay, people? My friends, let's go for a detailed brush and get some of the small squiggly little lines going. Let's get some nice dark colour, like not nice dark green look. Which one we had made up earlier. And let's simply go like that, look. Go a bit darker. And it's basically just a case of a dark against that bright background, okay? A nice rich dark. Let's take a little bit of blue into that. So a very dark, dark green. Almost a black, really. Couple of dots, look, just to suggest little bits and pieces in the background. And I love saying that, bits and pieces, because that's what it is, okay? It's just simply little blotches of colour here and there, just to tell a story. You're only telling a story. You're just telling what's going on in that distance, okay? That's all it is. I'll put a few more in here. couple of quick flicks as well look because you have to remember this again is going to be covered later with lots of red flowers and all that kind of stuff okay so let's look little dabs it's just to create some movement in the background as if there's lots of stuff there and really it's just a series of flicks with the brush okay a couple like that You can see how easy this is. Very, very simple. Now, we could take little dots of red. Suggest small, tiny little flowers off there in the distance. Look, one or two here and there. Already it's starting to come to life a little, isn't it? Okay. Now, you could, if you want to use a fan brush for this, I'm just going to take some blue, some black, and some yellow. I want to create a nice rich, rich green. I want to paint some of those little buds. You see those nice little buds? They're wonderful. And I'm going to put a touch of cadmium red into this, just to make it a warm green, okay? Any warm green that you have will do fine. I want to create some little buds. Let's go into some cadmium yellow, create some nice green ones. And I might even take just black, okay? And get some nice rich black ones. Just for the background there where it's really dark against the light. I really like that. So I might just get a few real dark ones in back there go up there like that look possibly with some little small little twigs and little grasses now go into some black just pop some black in here The idea really now is to just really fill this background with lots of movement. That's kind of what I'm trying to do now at the moment. Just simply lots of movement in here. Okay? See, just lots of... Flick your brush here, there and everywhere. Just all over the place. Because we will be using our fan brush in a moment to 
create lots of texture and little bits of detail that kind of stuff so look let's move on to our fan brush actually now i got a nice soft soft fan brush and i need some yellow this very simple background you can you can do this with any color okay you could just let loose and have a bit of fun let's get some cadmium yellow and go into that a touch of black and a touch of blue and you see what i'm going to do is a little bit of thinners as well with this on the tip of the brush i'm just going to kind of do some flicks okay and little touches of dabbing with the fan brush just helps give you lots of little details that would be very difficult to see with just the brush on its own it would be very difficult okay a couple of flicks like that now always a tiny touch of thinners on the tip of your fan brush and go into some yellow like that okay and then simply give some flicks look flicks are all, all around the place here and there See how I'm just kind of flicking it left and right and letting the fan brush kind of hit and miss here and there. Then I'm going to do the very same with some nice darker colour, okay? So again, dampen the fan brush, get some black, lots of blue and some cadmium yellow. So we now have a nice dark, rich blacky kind of a green okay blacky bluey kind of a green and let's just pop some of these in going up like that you see how i'm just kind of using this corner of the brush just to flick it in all directions let me take a hint of cadmium red into that just to warm it slightly And that will be complemented then by the flowers when we start doing the flowers in a moment. There we go. Lots of colour. I'm simply covering the canvas. That's what my focus is right now as I'm painting this. Just to cover it and give it a bit of texture. Because we will have, remember, we have our palette knife and all to do yet. So we have a lot of work to do with our palette knife and so on. So don't, um, don't worry, don't kind of jump into conclusions too, too early on. Let's just put a couple of these little green fellas coming up at the corners, just one or two. And if you put something up on the sides, it draws your eye into the centre of the painting, okay? Now, let's take some, yeah, lots of that yellow, okay? And put a couple of little dabs here and there. This will all help in the long run, okay? It will all help. Right, clean the fan brush. Clean, clean, clean. I'm going to go into some black and some blue. And a little thinners on that. And I want to really go into some darks. Going up like this, you see, with the side of the brush flicking upwards. Nice and dark down at the corners. Because that will help our reds really pop. Okay. So, so far, you can see lots of movement, lots of going on. That's good. I think we should move on to our pointy brush for a moment. I'm going to take a pointy brush. I'm going to put some light highlights in. Okay. I'll take some green, any green you have, and some white. Nice light green, whitey green. And I'm simply going to just suggest one or two highlights here and there. Okay. couple of dabs with the brush little dots 
And remember, this is all just a kind of an impression, okay? It's just a simple impression. I don't want to be painting lots, tons of detail in this because it could take days and days and days. If you were to sit here painting every little tiny bud and blade of grass, it could take you forever. I think doing it this way, it just keeps it much looser. It helps you see the whole picture, the whole painting as a whole, and just not get too fussy about little details. Okay? So now, a couple of little things like that. Next we have our flowers. I think we'll pop onto some flowers, shall we? Let me see what brush we're going to use for this. I have a nice round. I'm going to use a nice round brush for this. It's a kind of a medium round brush, all right? It's a stubby brush, number four. So any number four round will do fine. Let's go right into some cadmium red. I'm going to start off with, uh, actually, let me just get some cadmium yellow on my palette. We're going to need cadmium yellow and cadmium red for this. So, take some cadmium red. Let's pick up some cadmium yellow. Plenty of it. Don't be shy with the cadmium yellow. And a little thinners, just to thin it out. Also, if your thinners is getting very dirty, just tip it away somewhere in some tissue and put in some nice fresh turpentine, okay? If you wish. Mine is fairly clean, so I don't think I need to clean it that much. There, cadmium yellow and cadmium red. Okay, let's go up and start, and there's a nice one up here. Let's just suggest that first. Okay, a bit like that. Then it comes up like that. I'm hardly even paying attention now to the reference photograph, okay? I'm just going to kind of go on my own with this, see what happens. So I'm popping in some of them with my brush for now, okay? Just a few. And we can go along then with our palette knife and really go to town with all these colours. Um, put in a couple along here like that. So I'm kind of using the orange just so, to suggest the ones in the distance first. And they don't even have to look like poppies. They could be just simply blobs of colour. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, there's so many different flowers. There's so many flowers in here with different shapes of leaves that you're never going to be able to pick out you might pick up one or two when they're close up, but in general, the ones in the distance, you're not going to make them out that easily, okay? So you can see now already just little blobs of colour. Um, let's go up here and pop one or two in up here. They generally tend to have three petals, don't they, that show you, that kind of show in the foreground. Poppies have kind of three main petals so one at the side one in the middle one at the side one in the middle that kind of effect and when we start getting closer then we can really put in thick thick big leaves but let's just go with this for now look okay that that and i'll just sit back every now and then so we have the majority of the small ones finished. Let's pop in a few nice closer ones here. And these will kind of dart in and out of all this greenery, okay? I think I might move to my palette knife, but first let's just pop a couple of little stalks on some of these. You see, just pop one or two. So that they're not floating just in the air, okay? Just suggest there's something coming off of them. And let me take a touch of yellow. I'm going to pop some yellow in underneath just to suggest some of the little green leaves or petals or whatever it is you think is in there. Just pop a couple in. This is very subjective, this kind of a painting. It's really a case of just popping colour on a canvas and seeing what happens and let the viewer 
fill in the rest. Okay, let's go for a knife. Let's go for a palette knife. If I can find it, that is. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Okay, that's looking good so far. Right, into our cadmium red. And let's pop just some thick clumps of cadmium red on some of these. And what happens is the thickness of the paint, which kind of stands proud on the canvas, it almost gives you this lifelike effect, almost like a 3D effect. And that's fantastic. So for example, now let me get a pat knife. Let's get loads of paint. And there's a big one over here. Okay. Let's put this big one in like that. Lots of paint. Okay. And it's that simple. There. A nice big thick red poppy. And we couple down here. A lot of them, you can't really tell what they are. They're just sort of little splashes of red. So just quite simply pop some nice rich blobs of red on there with your palette knife. Don't be shy. You can mix a bit of yellow into it if you like. A bit of cadmium yellow. And we'll go across like this. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful, rich, rich colour. And this is so much fun. You should really try this. It's just so much fun when you see them. You see everything coming to life on the canvas. It's just fantastic. It really is. And we put another little one up here. Okay. Now, well, I'll take some yellow again. It don't matter if there's a touch of green in your yellow. That's absolutely fine, okay? And I'm not mixing it too much on my knife because you'll see the hints of the yellow coming through on the knife when you put it on. So you can see now this is all just simply blobs of colour. But your eyes and your mind is kind of telling you it's poppies in a field. I don't know if they look like actual poppies, but I'm creating the impression of them. So you could just go like one blob like that. And then another one. Like that. And one down here. Okay. And it's a lot of fun. You should really try this. Because you're missing out. You're missing out on just so much easy techniques. Let's put another little one up here. And you can even use the edge of the palette knife to create the directions as well. Look. It's quite simple. Now, a bit of yellow. And I'm going to put another nice one over here. Using the knife, going around with the knife. The next thing I'm going to do is take some crimson. And then we're going to start putting in some nice rich darks. Because a little touch of shadow here and there makes a big difference. And it's really just a suggestion of some darkness on the leaves. Okay, that's really all it is. But it will make a big difference. Little touch here and there. Don't be shy with your palette knife. Just go to town. Really have a bit of fun. If you don't do this, you're just kind of, I suppose you're limiting yourself when you're painting because if you're afraid to try little things, it really does kind of hold you back understand it just holds you back so really do just take something like this sometimes just grab a palette knife and say you know what let's put a big one here come on let's just go for it 
what's the worst that can happen okay i ruin my canvas i'll just scrape it off or i'll just put it to one side and i get another canvas you know what i mean don't be too shy and reserved with your palette knife like this that's what it's for to experiment and try different things now they may not look like poppies okay and i know they probably don't but it's about just creating an impact on the canvas that's all it is creating a bit of an impact and anyone walking through a restaurant or whatever and seeing this will say wow look at that nice splash of red that would look lovely on a wall wouldn't it and if that happens then i've achieved what i wanted to get okay now there we go a little touch like that next i'm going to take some cadmium yellow put it into that black okay don't mix it too much and let's create some a few little suggestions of some stalks here and there and you can even use our palette knife to scrape paint onto it like that okay remember i said we were going to use a palette knife at the end of this for a lot of stuff yeah well here we are okay Let's pop a little bit through here and there and really your mind will fill in the rest of what's going on around here if you want you could take some naples yellow with some cadmium red you could pop a little bit of highlight onto some of these if you wish and remember with this it's going to take a long time for this to dry because it's so thick um i would give this at least two weeks before i frame this and put it for sale by then the red most of the red should be pretty dry but um yeah it'll look well i'm going to take some black and i'm simply going to take some black and put some black at the ends of some of these okay and that just kind of sits them down you understand you can see there's a little touch of black around the ends of some of those flowers and i think that will really sit them down and give them a little bit of shade just underneath just very loosely you don't really have to be careful with this maybe a little black inside some of them just to suggest some of the centers or whatever doesn't that help a little bit of black it just kind of sits them down nicely and you could always take a little bit of black with your palette knife and give a tiny dab of black in around the centers as well of some of them just one or two and look at that isn't that wonderful for the final step i think i will just take more cadmium red take my palette knife and perhaps just add a little dab of red to some of those up there refine the shapes just a little bit more the palette knife does give this beautiful little flick when you flick it pop a little impression of some faraway ones off in the distance and you could refine whatever you think so let's for instance let's go here and refine some of this one here okay and let's refine some of that putting thicker red paint on top really 
shows off the petals, doesn't it? And as I said, look, they may not look like poppies to you, but either way, they're nice big splashes of red on the canvas. And anything like that will catch someone's eye. It really will. And there we go. I will leave it at that, my friends. I will soften in that one there and perhaps add a hint of a highlight to some of these. Just to lighten them slightly. And you could go in with some dabs of yellow. As well. A bit of every colour. Understand? Just pop a few in here and there, and we could pop a few in down lower as well. It's really just to make it look nice and busy, that's all. And we are done. I just wanted to do a nice simple tutorial for you, just to kind of show you how you can keep something very loose very nice and very loose okay um there's just one little area that i want to try and tidy up a little just around here and i won't overdo it i won't put too much because you can't overdo something like this as well and end up with lots of red all over the place. And there we are, my friends. We are finished. Wasn't that lovely? You see how quickly i done that now? And I just kept it nice and simple. Okay? Um, I really hope you try it. I really do. A couple of stalks in there just to finish off. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you. Maybe closer up. Lots of thick paint. Look at that. So the red against the yellow background really complements each other. And that nice glow in the centre really does show them off wonderfully, doesn't it? I really, I really think so. I'm going to soften this one down. Just a bit more. And that's it. A nice frame on that. And we are done, my friends. Let me turn the camera. So there we go my friends, thank you so much for watching that, I hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful colours aren't they, really eyes catching and striking colours. I'll frame that and stick it, stick it hang, hang it up in my restaurant somewhere nice. Um, so there we go, I hope you've had fun today, I hope you've learned to loosen up, grab a palette knife every now and then and just go crazy with it. Lash some colour on, splash it on, just have a bit of fun, okay? I'll see you next week. Thank you again so much for, for all your support. It really means a great deal to me. I sincerely um, appreciate it. Thank you, um, thank you everyone. Okay, I'm off to get a coffee. I'll see you next week. God bless and happy.